Hello, I'm Wigglytuff, um, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about a game engine called GDevelop5. Now, firstly, I'll introduce myself. Um, I'm someone that's a hobbyist um, when it comes to game design or creating in games. Um, I'm not, or I, I have only really created some very simplistic games in the past, um, and generally speaking, they're all quite poo. Um, that said, I am endeavouring on doing this series um, to uh, step back and probably create some simpler projects and simpler games, and uh, perhaps you can follow along. Um, so again, why am I doing this? Well, uh, realistically, um, a lot of the videos that I see out there are of people who already have a decent level of experience when it comes to game creation, and I really want to step back and um, do it from more of a hobbyist level. So I personally watch a lot of um, games from scratch or um, uh, was it, there's a guy who does Godot, Nathan. Um, can't remember, GD Quest, that's the guy. Um, and even a bit of Rackies. I know they all um, look into different engines and different aspects of engines, but I find that um, they have very good general knowledge and it's quite good for getting concepts and ideas um, nested in my mind. Um, what are my skills? Well, that's a very good question. Um, when it comes to game dev and game design, I've been messing around with it for a couple of years now. Um, and to be honest, I really don't have any skills. Um, like I said, I've tried creating games before. Um, I have created a couple. But to be honest, I haven't released them anywhere to anyone because they are quite pathetic. <laughs> um, now let's take a bit more of a look at GDEV. Now um, I guess the reason why I'm looking at GDevelop is because um, it's very simple, it's a 2D engine, um, it's beginner friendly. Um, I've had a look at other engines like Godot, um, Unity, um, Armory 3D. Um, Unity and Godot, I still find are a little bit too complex for my skill level, um, so I need to sort of dial it back a little bit. Um, Armory 3D, um, it's not polished enough yet, but I think it will be quite similar in some aspects, or at least, you know, with its visual scripting language as well, to, um, uh, to simplify 3D games. Um, now, a brief description of GDEV, uh, it's an open source game engine, it's beginner friendly, it has its own visual scripting language of sorts, um, it's a little bit simpler than normal programming, however, you know, I've played with this before in the past and I find you still need to have some, un some concept of uh, programming. Um, you can use their sort of methodology to program games, they call the actions and the event sheet, um, they call it game rules, and that sort of helps conceptualize a little bit better what you're trying to achieve without sort of needing to be too in depth when it comes to programming skills. Um, all right, let's flick over to the web page, take a little look at the engine. So here's the GDevelop web page, as you can see, um, it's quite a special engine in that it runs in the browser so if you click this link here it'll take you to the in browser editor uh, as far as I'm aware the in browser editor has some features that aren't present I think some of the physics stuff but I could be wrong there um, generally through the subsequent videos I'm going to be creating I'll be using the uh, downloaded editor I'll just bring that here bring that up um, and it is, the version that I currently have installed, is uh, GDevelop 5 Beta 55. Now that will probably change. Um, a really cool feature of the installed version of the engine is that it automatically updates. So I find that excellent. Um, there's plenty of information on their website about what you can do in GDevelop. Unlimited possibilities, all the fun stuff. There is a fair bit of support. The creator of the game engine is uh, Florian Raval. He seems like he's a very switched on fellow. I don't think I could create a game engine. Um, now let's flick on over to the feature page. Let's have a look here. So deploy your games everywhere. 
one click export to Android, um, export your games to iOS via Cordova. Um, that looks pretty interesting. I mean, once again, I'm probably going to gloss over a lot of this stuff because at this stage I'm kind of really <laughs> not that. Uh, a lot of this stuff I don't really need to get into, I don't think. Um, it has been used to create some games that are on Steam. That's interesting. I never really thought that before. Well, there you go. I have been, or well, we have all been informed. Intriguing. Um, and their documentation, I, I have had a look at this in the past, and originally, as before GDevelop 5 had matured significantly, I found the, um, the documentation to be quite um, incomplete, but they have done a very good job, or well, the community has done a very good job in sort of fleshing out some of the, um, the weaker spots uh, to the point where I actually really like what they've done here, for instance. So the first page you go to, it's the home page, yeah. And then from here, like if you have very little experience getting started, basic game concepts. And this takes you through the engine the basics of how the engine works, the mechanics of it, how it interprets, you know, vectors, angles, um, also, as I said before, events, um, it shows you um, how to create and delete those and how you should properly create them within this engine, variables, all the basic stuff. Now, that said, even with the details here, I mean, if you're a slow learner like me, it's one of those things, you'll need more than just this documentation. You'll have to just get into it and start messing around. Now, um, I think for this video, that's probably, that's gonna be the expent, extent. Um, in the next video, I will we'll probably take a um, closer look or we'll start to create a game. Um, if you want a more in-depth, um, understanding of what the game engine does or description um, Mike over at games from scratch has a uh, good sort of uh, overview of the gdevelop5 game engine um, and obviously head on over to the gdevelop website uh, the URL I'll provide in the uh, description along with the video to um, Nathan uh, to um, Mike over at G games from scratch um, it is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash gdevelop dash app dot com I'd recommend you just get in there and try it um, alright well I'll see you in the next video